now that President Biden and former President Donald Trump have clinched the nominations of the Democratic and Republican Party, respectively, many people are looking back through American history to see if there are examples that are similar to this. And there are not very many. There's one example from the uh, 1880s and early 1890s where Grover Cleveland and Benjamin Harrison, neither household names, had this sort of uh, incumbent challenger rematch. And there are only six other times in American history when we've had the same two people confront each other uh, twice for the presidency. And so uh, this is quite rare. You can imagine if you've tasted time in the White House or come very, very close, it is a taste you never forget, a lust that never goes away. And so you tend to try again, oftentimes twice, more than twice. And so you think about people like Thomas Jefferson, who uh, authored the Declaration of Independence, lauded in his own time, contested for the presidency in 1796, and won it in 1800. Uh, and then he saw his neighbors, uh, James Madison and James Monroe, win it. And so that kind of satisfaction, winning it yourself and passing it on to your, uh, your successors is very, very rare. Much more common is John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, where John Quincy Adams, as the son of John Adams, expects to be president. He narrowly achieves the president never locks into it, and a looming public figure in Andrew Jackson takes it from him and defeats them. But in the most recent cases, we've had candidates that defeat their challenger twice. Eisenhower in the 1950s is a great example of that. He ran twice against the widely respected Governor Adlai Stevenson, beat him soundly both times because he was the supreme commander Allied forces Europe in World War II. And so we'll go through a particular example of a second contest between two men. This may be the least uplifting of the examples that we've had a chance to talk a little bit about, but we'll see over the next uh, eight months now that we have our candidates.